Ready? Hi everybody, Amanda here, letting you know about a few things that we have coming up in the um, 2nd of February auction. As always, we have something for everyone. Sometimes that's difficult to achieve, but certainly in this auction, we have something for everyone. It's always an eclectic mix, and, and this time it really is an eclectic mix. So I'm starting here in the corner in the first 30 lots. We call them the bargain basement. That's our warm up. But we've got one, two, three boxes, and an old uh, hide bag full, full of two generations of medical equipment. The gentleman was a medical doctor and his father was. And the son's put up his things for sale. It's not an estate, the gentleman is still with us. He's just gone to a nursing home. Family has divided their things as they do, the things that they want and the things that they don't want they gave us. And we're really, really grateful because some of the things are fabulous. If you look up here, this is from that collection, set of tins. Uh, lamps, instruments, very early um, Art Deco ceramic uh, kettle, does re need rewiring, everything in our auctions needs rewiring, some more lanterns, coming over here, don't move the camera up and down like that David, I'm not. There's, there's so few interesting bits and pieces here, um, this is some kind of a, a milk uh, bacteria balance thing, you want to open it up, thingy majingy, it's French. It's got some mixing jars and things in it. So I gather you mix bacteria to make sure that your milk isn't full of um, pesticides. Um, interesting things in there, of course. If you swing around this way, David. Slowly. One of the most interesting things about our auctions is the, that we have a huge collection of perfume bottles from a lady in um, country Victoria. And in her collection, she has from Murano to Oropus to Lalique to name brand perfume bottles. They're all vintage and some of them are very early, but it's a brilliant collection and it's scattered throughout. Um, she's also included jewellery and jewellery is fabulous this auction because we've got jewellery from about 10 different sources. So the collection is huge. You can buy uh, jewellery from $20 to several thousands of dollars whatever your budget is i think there's 200 lots yeah, absolutely but so there is something for everybody in that as well so you can certainly have a lot of fun in this option apart from that we have some fabulous oriental uh, items in this cabinet that's our oriental ca cabinet always has been but the ones that are really interesting are the ones over here Wow. We, we had a um, a monkey tobacco jar previously, but this is a, a, a little a container. It's a bit bigger than the one we had previously. I it bet. does have a later lid, however, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think the lid might even be original to the period, but it's sterling silver. Yeah. So, look, it's a very interesting item. It's beautifully carved, absolutely stunning. So, if we have a look in the cabinet, can I walk in there and have a quick look? I'll just put and pan most, the camera in. And this collection came from Queensland. It did. Oh, I'm here. Yeah, yeah, you're here. David's here. here. David, when was the viewing? You were throwing the date at me. Was it the 31st of January? No. 11 till 4? No? 30th. 30th? Oh, 30th, I got it yeah. wrong. And the auction is? On the Monday, the 2nd of February. You sure? Yes. Have you and checked the calendar? I don't need to. Oh, and brilliant. The viewing, the viewing will be on from 12 noon to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. But the catalogue and all the photos and everything should be up soon. Have a look at this. Look at that. And they're all signed. So really, they need to have a good look oh, at our photos okay, and our catalogue. These are, these are stunning. And very low estimates. They're priced to sell. Even though they paid thousands of dollars for some of these, the instructions are to sell. And look at this one. Look at this one. This is absolutely Everybody's great. looking at your back. I would. And sign. I hope, I hope, I, I, I'll uh, inhale. He's a very nice elephant, isn't he? Yes, look at that one. They're all brilliant pieces. And, and where's St. George? Is one of St. George yeah, in there? St. George, St. George. But look at this one too. Look at the quality of them. And they're all in mint condition, which is very hard to get in antique ivory. 
And I've got to show you a couple more things that I found really interesting that came in late as well. You're filming all the leak as well? Apart from the obvious, there's some Hagenau here. And it's not my Hagenau. It's <laughs> come down from Queensland. Which is your area. It's my expertise, but it's not mine. So it's interesting because in this last year, we've discovered that there are a few collectors of Hagenau in Australia because we've sold a few pieces here and there. And I am educating them uh -huh. even more. I want to show you the stick. That came but they're not as good as yours, are they, David? Yours are the best, aren't they? Yeah, well, we'll oh, yeah that, that's, that's my very favourite thing in the auction. Same yesterday. No, well, yeah, yesterday. Oh, yesterday. They yeah. can't see that. They have to come and see it in person. Ivory and car. I can't get really. Meiji period. Oh, too, too close. I can't get really close to that. Yeah, we have to see that. This is something you have to see in person. It's a stunning walking stick. And I'll show you some of the perfume bottles. I'll go show you. Just, I'll just open the cabinet. I'll just give you an overview of some of the perfume bottles. Just have a quick film and now you can get an idea. But the better ones are on the cross on the other side. I'll walk across the other side of the room. It's not just perfume bottles, there's heaps of sterling silver, uh, lots of other collectibles. Moorcroft is a good collection of Moorcroft. It's an excellent and collection of Moorcroft. There's some really nice uh, Art Deco bronzes and ivories from the Queensland collection. This is one of them. And there's a, a couple more on the other side. And there's some really rare uh, Lalique perfume bottles. There's this one up here. Hey, this is one. our best cabinet. Yeah, this is uh, more of the Lalique pieces. And also some really interesting art, like usual. We had some uh, uh, several uh, French paintings delivered. Uh, there's Charles Blackman of Cunahan. Um, there's a nice, interesting David Bromley over there. This is some more of the Oriental pieces in this cabinet. Some lovely cloisonne. Japanese and Chinese cloisonne in the option as well. You keep turning your back to the camera. Well, I think people would rather see. I like that too. How many are there? Ten. Ten. They're interesting. Ten. They're very interesting. Each one's they're uh, also from the on. doctor's collection. That's right. So wherever you look, there's interesting things. There's more things. Can you film into the uh, window, or it's very hard to film? No, it's very sunny at the moment. Let's just give them an overview of some of the jewellery. Just a small selection of the jewellery. Yeah, I have. Yeah. But this is some of the. But they have to look at our photos. The photos I, I took were reasonably good in this auction, weren't they, for the jewellery? Yeah. Like, well, better than normal. Yeah. And there's some more interesting things in there. So wherever you look for are interesting things in the auction, and I'll go out of the sunlight so you can see me over this side of the room. Uh, the viewing for the auction. What time, Mandy? Let's test you out. It's on the 30th of December. Yes, what time? January. Yes. 30th of January. 30th of January, yes. <laughs> 11 till 4, that's the Saturday. Yes. Monday. Monday, the 2nd of February, 12 till 6, auction starts at 6.30. You wonder why? Because that half an hour between viewing and an auction is hectic for us because we do lots of absentee bids and telephone bids. We get those ready. So that half an hour is in no man's land. Correct. <laughs> we'll see you at the auction. Hopefully we see all our interstate friends come in too. See you. Bye.